Now, most of you have been asking how you can convert an actual drawing or just a simple sketch into a consistent 3D character. And in today's video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can achieve this. Now, if your drawing is on actual paper, remember to scan it before you get started. And yes, you can actually use this method to bring to life any kind of drawing. Make sure to follow along in the tutorial because you can easily get results such as this instead of this. If you do find any value in this video, consider hitting that subscribe button. And also remember to like and share this video so that more people will be able to find it. Let's get right into it. Our first step is going to be converting our sketch or drawing into a 3D model. And for that, we'll be making use of a tool known as Promi AI. I hope that's the right pronunciation. So the link for that is in the description box below. Once here, you'll be prompted to either log in or sign up. You can use your email or just go ahead and sign up with your Google account. With Promi AI, you have an option to actually generate your images. You also have an option to edit your images. And you also have another option where you can generate videos from either image or text. In the community tab, you'll be able to see all the creations that other Promi AI users have, you know, created all their generations. You'll be able to see them in the community tab. So you can just browse maybe to get inspiration or such. Now, what you're interested today is the image generation and to be specific, the sketch rendering option. So that is exactly what you are going to be doing today. Let me also point out that with Promi AI, you get 10 credits every month and you use 0.1 credits for each generation. Now you have an option to choose the number of images that you want per generation, either one, two or three. So if you choose three, you'll use 0.3 credits. Now we'll just click on sketch rendering and you're going to click on start and you'll be directed to this interface. So now you'll be able to actually sketch something right here on the platform or you can go ahead and upload something that you've already sketched or drawn, whichever. So you have those two options. So we're just going to click on sketch something and instead of actually sketching, we're going to go ahead and import that from our you know computer so we're just going to drop that drawing that we already have onto this sketch canvas once our sketch is ready now we'll just go ahead and choose the settings that we want for our images now as you can see there are a bunch of uh, settings that you can go ahead and choose from so we are just going to play around with these settings and with this you'll be able to see the different kind of characters that you get and we're also going to compare the results that we get when we add a prompt and the ones that we get when we do not have a prompt. So the first one you're going to use is not going to have any prompt. So let's just go ahead and generate this. So we have more settings down here. We can choose from either standard or professional. And we can also choose the level of artistry. So we are just going to leave that at zero. And we are not going to add any negative prompt since we've not even added any prompt for this one. So we are just going to generate this one as plainly as it is. So we are just going to generate this and we're going to see the images that we get. Now, these are our first set of images. And as you can see, well, yeah, they're not that good. So let's try a different setting. So what we have done here, we have just changed the mode. We've left the style as it is, as the scene as well. Basically, the scene is just the environment. Now we changed our mode, but as you can see, the, the character that you're getting is pretty much similar to the character that we got before. So now what you're going to do, we're just going to upload a different image and we are going to use different settings for this new image. So here we have our little boy. We're going to leave the style as realistic. We are going to choose the environment uh, or we can just leave it. That's up to you. And now we are going to choose the precision concept. That's what we're going to go with. And this time we're just going to, you know, choose the reference, of course, of our character. And the reference is going to be the character that we uploaded. And now we're just going to go ahead and hit generate. And now you can see the results are pretty much just there, uh, not good at all. Now we are going to change things up a bit. We are going to input a prompt. We are going to say a boy standing in a park and you're going to input the scene for that and you're going to generate. So now these are the images that you get for uh, once you do that. 
Now we are going to shake things up further. We're going to hit on artistry and we're going to bring it all the way up to 50. And we are going to, you know, change the mode and you're going to choose the precision concept. And now we're going to generate with that. And now here are our characters. You can see they are way, way better than what we've been getting. So now let's try something else. We're just going to go back to artistry and you're going to bring it all the way up. You know, you can put it at 100. I'm going to leave it at 95. And you're just going to go ahead and generate with this. And now let's see if there's any difference in our characters. Now look at that. Our characters are so much better. The environment is so much better. Just look at that. There's a world of difference between these characters. And you can tell that the quality of the characters that we have now are way better. Now just look at how good this is. Now what I'm going to suggest is you need to play around with these settings because what you're looking for might not be what I'm looking for. So make sure you just go around with these settings and see the kind of results you get. And I promise you, you're going to get exactly the kind of results that you want. Now we're going to repeat this same process and you're going to have our initial, you know, uh, drawing and you're going to use these same settings. And now let's see the kind of results that we get. And now look at this. Like these are so much different from what we were getting before. When you're using this tool, I suggest that you add a prompt before you generate uh, your images. And if you feel like a negative prompt would further your course, just go ahead and include a negative prompt. As you can see, you can actually use all sorts of images. Like for instance, this is like an architectural design. And as you can see, we've gotten very nice results with it as well. So now you can just go ahead and download your images. You can just go ahead and delete the images that you do not like. And actually the downloaded quality of the images is actually good. If not, if you do not like them, you can actually just go ahead and upscale them. Or you can choose to buy one of the subscription plans. Now here's another one of our images and you can see how good this character turned out with a prompt and a high artistry. Like this is just so good. For the consistent character, we are going to be using Leonardo AI. So just go over to image generation and you're going to change the aspect ratio to match with our character's aspect ratio. We're also going to choose our style as 3D animation style. And now we are going to go over to image guidance and you're going to hit upload. And now you'll be able to upload the image that you want to use for our image guidance. So once that's done, the next thing that you need to do is just input a prompt. And now we are going to adjust the strength of our image. And now we'll just go ahead and hit generate. So let's just go ahead and see what kind of results we get. So here's our first set of images. As you can see, our character is sad and crying. Let's try something else. We're going to say happy and laughing hard. So here's our character laughing hard and looking all happy. So it's really just that simple. So this is all you need to do. Just go ahead and keep changing your prompt to what you want your character to be doing. It's actually really simple, guys. So in case you have any question or in case you need any clarification, just go ahead and leave it in the comment section below and I'll be happy to answer. So I hope you learned something new today and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.